In fact, so here I want to crank it right. That way we can angle the side of our ship at him. So here we're going to be able to get the first shots. Now I'm going to crank it left. That way we don't lose the angle. And that's going to keep us... Our side opens up to them first so we can start shooting. And now we can continue hitting him. And now we have one more ship on the right. And it dropped loot. So we're going to keep this angle going. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. It's Shrogs. And today we're playing Sea of Thieves. So what I want to make today is a little get started video on your first time in Sea of Thieves. Or if you're just kind of confused or want to see how I start my game off, um, I'm going to show you that now. So I always start off in a... If I'm by myself, I do a sloop. I always start with a closed crew. The only times I would ever do an open crew is if it was either a brigantine or a galleon and I'm trying to just join someone who's already in progress and, and maybe I get lucky and there's already a bunch of treasures on the ship and I can just join in and get a part of that. But if I'm if I'm trying to get specific missions done, then I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, a closed crew on a sloop. I'll tell you guys why I do a closed crew once we're loaded in. All right, so we're loading in and you do get this cutscene because of the Halloween event, I think it is. So the first thing I do right away is because we're already in this room, we're already up on this part of the island, we're just going to loot these barrels. Because when you start the game, you don't have any items. So these barrels regenerate items in them, I think every like 24 hour cycle in the game. So when you first start, you just want to loot these. I always do this because it's convenient. It's right here. There's no reason not to. And this is going to give us supplies for being on our ship because we need cannonballs to fire our cannons and you actually have to pick them up and shoot them. If you don't loot any, then when you set sail later, you're not going to have very many to work with. Okay, so cannonballs through... Okay, so there's our ship. Now, the main reason, there's two reasons why I do a closed crew when I first start. Um, the first reason is so that I can design the ship because if you join with somebody, they're gonna wanna design the ship too and you're not gonna get the ship you want, I guarantee it. So I like to start solo crew and I set it up. That's only one reason why. Um, but that's an important one. And since we're at the ship, we're just gonna unload really quick. We'll go ahead and get one more load of items. So we'll just drop these cannonballs off since we're already here. You know, no point in doing multiple trips back and forth for no reason. So our inventory is full again. We can go back and loot more barrels. And I missed the dock. And so we're going to get the good fruit. These fruits have different values of heal healing. These fruits have different values of healing levels. So, like, the bananas are the worst. I'll pretty much loot anything but bananas because the bananas are... The amount of healing they do is so nominal that you're, you're really just wasting your time eating them versus other food. Very, very rarely would I need to eat bananas. Okay, and here's the other reason why I start as a closed crew is because here there's these emissary flags that you put on your ship and these let you get more loot. Your loot is more valuable. You get more gold, you get more rep. And the problem with the uh, open crews, you have to have majority vote to put these up. And if you have two people, that means you have to have 100% of the votes or it ain't going up. So here, I just press F and I now have an emissary flag flying on my ship. But if I had someone with me and they wanted something else or they just didn't know how to do it and they were just running around aimlessly, I would never get my emissary flag up. So I like to do this. Now, I don't want to do the Merchant Alliance so I can lower it. And I can actually go put up a different one. Now, there's three different ones you can do. There's the Gold Hoarders, the Merchant Alliance, which was the one we were just at. And also the Order of Souls. I like doing Order of Souls because these are my favorite quests. I like doing these uh, ghost ship battles. And if you find you can't interact with this, it's because you probably just started the game and you haven't unlocked it yet. In order to unlock them, I think uh, you got to get to like level 10 with each faction. And you earn reputation with these factions by... Uh, doing their quests. So if we look here, there's quests that we can get. Um, 
And as you level up, I think when you first start, you're just going to have these like battles with skeleton crews. But once you get to a certain level, you can start doing ship battles. Those are my favorite. So we're going to pick one of those up. And you'll see here there's uh, like items you can unlock. I think once you hit level 10, one of the items is the emissary flag. You buy that and then you can put up the emissary flag by voting on it. Okay, so uh, some people will spend 15 minutes on an island looting it. They get every single item. I don't like doing that. I like getting, I, I just like to get going. So we're just gonna do that and we're gonna head out. I think we have plenty. Your ship starts with some loot on it, as you guys already saw when I was unloading cannonballs, there's already like 40 on there. So you, ha you have enough to get started doing some basic quests. There's also other ways to get more materials if you need more cannonballs, more wood, you don't have to go to an island to loot them. You can actually find barrels in the water and shoot them up. And that's going to give you a lot more loot. So the wood's for repairing your ship as you take hits. The cannonballs are for shooting other ships. And the food is for healing. And those are really the three basic resources that you're going to get. Food, cannonballs, wood. So you're probably wondering, where do we set sail to? And the answer is it doesn't really matter. It's, an, it's a sandbox game. You can sail anywhere. Um, there's really no mission. There's no goal. Really just do quests to level up until you hit level 50, which at that point um, you become a pirate legend. But, but really nothing really changes throughout the game. You're just going to be doing missions and um, kind of doing whatever you want to do. And there's going to be certain quests that you can choose to do, and that's going to unlock you. I just fell off my boat. That's going to unlock you cosmetics. Like, uh, I, that's how I got this sword, and my ship is from doing missions. So we're going to put a quest down. And we bought that quest already for the ship battle. Um, and it's really all I have that's um, really that I can do on my own here. But this mission here actually is going to be quite difficult. So I think at this point, I do want to open up my crew and hopefully I get somebody good. <laughs> the problem with opening your crew up is sometimes you get people that don't know what they're doing or they just have their own objectives. And once they join your crew, you can't get rid of them because it's the same thing as before. You need majority vote to boost somebody. And since there's only two of you, you'll never get majority. So we're going to go ahead and open it up, though. I, I just don't think I'm going to be able to do this <clears throat> mission on my own. So we put the quest on the table. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now it shows up in our inventory space. And wow, I just shot my gun. And it's going to give us a location. So the faded fleet of the exiled king is located at the Haunting Snake Island. Oh, Snake Island. Haunting Snake Island. Okay. So. What is that? West? Yeah, just straight west. If you don't know your uh, directions just based off looking at that map, then you can just pull up your compass and head west. Well, hello there, sir. Can you hear me? Can, can, can you hear me? I have no idea if my in-game mic's working. All right, so the good news is this guy can talk, so that's really exciting. Um, now, I am not too worried about other ships attacking me because I can defend my ship. Also, I have no loot. And third, I honestly don't care. If someone kills me, I really don't care because I, even if I had a lot of valuables, it doesn't even matter because I'm just going to get it back later or whatever. So... Generally speaking, what you should be doing is checking around your ship for other enemies. Hopping up in the crow's nest is a great idea. So here's some barrels in the water. My partner's going to shoot them up. That's really nice of him. And you can get more cannonballs, food, and wood by doing that. Um, but I don't see any ships. And honestly, if I did, I usually like trying to make friends with them. And we can open up this ship flag at the top. Every ship will have this up here. And if you go to alliances, you can open up this offer alliance. So now if another uh, ship sails near us, we'll become friends. And we will share some of the profits from the loot. 
and now you can see it puts up a second flag up here so we have an emissary flag and it's hard to see that we have an emissary flag and another now one with a heart that one with the heart you can see that if other ships have that on them and you can know if they're trying to be friends or not so we're gonna eat a pomegranate I hate to do it because those are pretty good food and okay I'm actually gonna eat a banana because I have no idea how I'm supposed to. Guys, I always play mouse. I always, I never play mouse and keyboard. I always play. I always play with an Xbox controller. I have no idea how to change the food. So. I, I have no idea how to open my inventory. So, I hate to do it, but we're eating chicken with almost full health. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Grab cannonballs? You can use any kind of cannonballs on these pirate ships. And all of them are three shots to kill. So the trick is obviously every ship in this game, I guess this isn't obvious. Every ship in this game has cannons on the sides. They don't have front facing cannons. They don't have rear facing cannons. So what that means, oh, don't do that. I did it. What that means is that this ship can't shoot me if I'm behind it or in front of it. Now, sometimes the captains will drop barrels. Here, I'm telling him to turn left because he's giving me a bad angle. The way he approached is um, wasn't good because it allows the enemy ship to shoot us and we couldn't shoot him. Okay, nice. We got that one. Somebody's hitting us from over here. So we just ate a big hit. And I need him to turn to the right. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so since we're getting rammed, we do probably want to repair. Dude, mouse and keyboard is freaking... If you don't know what you're doing, like me, it's horrible. <laughs> I'd be using my Xbox controller, but the cord has been very finicky lately. And I can't do wireless. So since we're downhill, we'll, we're, we'll quickly um, just get rid of this water. I think that's good enough for now. I want to get back up here and start shooting. The important thing to know when shooting these is the cannonballs don't... Like, if you're aiming right at the target, there's a chance you'll miss. You kind of want to... Like, if your ship's moving... The cannonball is going to keep some of the momentum that the ship has on it. So usually you want to aim like slightly behind and the cannonball will move forward. And I'll try to demo that on this next pass. Okay, so no more repairs are necessary. Sometimes the center mass can break. Sometimes the steering wheel can break. Looks like everything is good to go. Taking damage and repairing it. It doesn't, like, a repaired ship is equally as strong as a brand new ship. So don't think you, your ship is weaker because it has all these holes in it. Grab cannonballs. He's saying right. I don't know if those are in range. He might be talking about this one coming up. Oh, we got loot. So these things can drop these barrels or these crates. Here, I'm going to demo it. So look, look, I'm way in front of this thing, right? But watch the cannonball. It's actually going to continue with the momentum of the ship. I don't think it hit, but it was close. 
So even though it looks like I'm kind of off, there's a chance that these will actually connect. Now we... The other thing you have to calculate when shooting is the wave you're on. The waves of the ocean will kind of flip you up and down. And wow, this guy, I wish he was a better driver. He's doing okay. I don't know how to drop items. X. Gosh, why is it that? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and steer since he's shooting. And I'm going to crank it left because right now, see, his cannonballs can't quite hit. And I'm going to crank it right and hope that we can get this other ship, but we just got barrels in the water, so... Or we just got a crate. If you see ghosts floating above, that means there's a crate there, and that's a bunch of cannonballs. So that's something we definitely want to go get. So he's repairing. There's nothing to shoot. This is good. That one might have been in range for a brief second, but I've already turned past it because I want to get this loot. Now, the loot will stay afloat for like five minutes. Okay, I just figured out how to aim better. He's saying left, so he's going to line me up over here. Boom. Nice. And he's also already aiming for that, so that's good, except for he missed. <gasps> we got a ship. Oh boy. This guy we might be able to take out. Let's give it some shots. Wait, where's this guy at? Okay, we're gonna go for that guy instead. I'm really having a hard time with mouse and keyboard. I think it's too late. Holy cow. So whenever there's nothing to do, I'm going to empty water, repair, restock on supplies. Here we're gonna I'm gonna straighten this out and we're gonna go for this guy in fact so here I want to crank it right that way we can angle the side of our ship at him so here we're gonna be able to get the first shots now I'm gonna crank it left that way we don't lose the angle and that's going to keep us our side opens up to them first so we can start shooting and now we can continue hitting him And now we have one more ship on the right, and it dropped loot, so we're going to keep this angle going. Whenever you get rammed, you do take a lot of damage wherever it hits. Thankfully, it hit the upper deck. This upper deck does not drop a lot of water in. Okay, so I do want to get some repairs going. If you're ever about to sink, always bail instead of repairing. It's better to bail and then repair. In all instances, I can't think of a single time where I would ever repair and then bail. Because you can usually, even if we had like 12 holes, you can out bail it. You can bail it faster than it will sink. Where the problem comes in is where it's about to sink and you're like, oh, let me put some wood up. And then, but the water's still going up. And then you sink while you're in the middle of repairing it. So bail and then repair. Always remember to empty out. Oh, okay. There's one more hole down there. 
and we need wood. So something you're gonna see me do here is I'm gonna bail and then put the wood on. It's gonna buy you a little bit of time in a pinch, okay? So you bail it and then keep that bucket in, keep the water in the bucket. You don't need to run up and empty it, but just switch over to wood and then repair. So now we're doing really good on cannonballs because look at that 30 wood 30 cannonballs wow we're looking great and i'm gonna stare so we don't crash and that is a lot of can that is a lot of ships this is crazy <laughs> this is like five ships shooting at us are our sails down they are down so i personally like leaving my sails all the way down to keep the speed up makes it harder to be hit oh direct hit fire is not very dangerous to the ship it's more of it's a danger to you as a player it can burn you and you'll die to it like here i'm actually gonna i'm standing on fire that's why But the ship takes a really long time to burn, to actually like die to fire. And so here, look, I'm way to the left of the ship. So check this out. That might hit him. Okay, it didn't, but it was, it almost did. So here, all you have to do is kill the captain. But killing these little ships will make it much easier because there's there's like seven of them guarding him. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Get our cannonballs. Reload. Let's see if we can't take them out. So you can see it's got the specialty sails. The captain's also dropping barrels. They just blew up in the water. It can be really hard sometimes to see over these waves. Like, am I hitting him? Or, like, am I going just above him? So it's nice to have your captain who can see over the waves just fine. You can call it out. Like, hey, you need to aim a little bit higher. You need to aim a little bit lower. Okay. Let's go ahead and restock. I can no longer see because of the sun. Still landing hits. And we have so many cannonballs at this point. Like, who cares? Just shoot them away. Don't be conservative. Just go. Just attempt. Get better. Practice shooting. You know, if you're missing them all, it's whatever. Like, look look at how many cannonballs we have. Yeah, we got... Now, this guy's telling me to wait to get closer, but we still have plenty of cannonballs. Yeah, we probably got, like, 50 shots still. It's plenty. You only need three to kill the little guys. And I think it's, like, ten to kill the big guys. So, sadly, we were not paying attention. And... They got away. Oh no. I missed. Okay, we got one. I really would have liked it if he was just staring and I was doing that. So there's 20 more. So what you can do in a pinch is start unloading them. This way you can drop this and that way next time you pass barrels, you can pick them up. But if you're in, a, if you're in the middle of a fight, what you can do is pick, shoot this barrel up and just leave it. Don't even mess with it. Just leave it. You can get it later. But now you have more supplies for the next fight. So we're getting lots of loot. Like, you're not going to run out of cannonballs doing these fights. You got so many coming in. And I think we even missed one of these earlier. And it probably sank. It probably sank. And that would have been another 30 cannonballs. Maybe we picked it up. I don't know. 
Okay, so this guy's repairing right when I need him to steer because we could kill this is a lieutenant It's a different looking ship, but it doesn't have the flame heart symbols on it. So What that means is it is going to drop a bunch of supplies crates skulls all these goodies But it's not gonna end the fight whereas if we kill the flame heart ship then the fight's gonna end and We're gonna be able to move on Okay, this guy needs to crank it to the right. Right now, he should be cranking it to the right so we could kill that ship, but he is repairing. So that's really unfortunate. Oh, boy. So he's on cannon now. So I'm going to crank it to the right so he gets the shot, and now I'm going to crank it left so he can continue to keep that angle on him. And we're going to circle around these guys. Nice. That little explosion actually helped us turn. And now, I'm going to want to straighten out slightly and try to keep this angle right here. He might be able to hit him still. I'm not sure. I'm also making sure that we're not going to crash in the rocks in front of us. I'm not going to run into explosive barrels behind them. Oh, that was horrible. So I've got the ship angled perfectly. And so I don't need to mess with the ship now. It's going to continue a good angle on those pirate ships. So I'm going to let him keep shooting. I'm just going to repair because I know that the ship's going to be doing just fine up there. I already had water in my bucket. I knew that when I pulled it out. So This is actually a big hole, I think. Sometimes you get big holes. They take longer to repair and they fill up faster. So we'll just get rid of that. And now... Flameheart's got to be getting close. We did it! Finally. Finally, finally, finally. That took forever. Alright, there we go. So that's it, everyone. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is how I start my games off. And I just find something to... I just find a quest to start doing. Sometimes I'll join a world event, which we'll get into that in at another time. But yeah, all you got to do is loot your island, set sail, and find something to do. Pick a quest, pick an island, and have some fun with the game. It's an open world. It's an open sandbox. So make friends, make enemies, do whatever you want, and just enjoy the game, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Trogs, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.